Welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. I'm Justin, this is our trusty Telly, and we've got a new video for you today. So today we've got the Ox Stomp, which is basically all of the IRs out of the Ox box itself, the top load box that you plug your amp into. So basically, it's just all the digital like IRs they created for that. Maybe a few more, because I feel like they released a few more um, than what originally came with it since then. Originally came with the Ox box. So there's so many. we could. I could basically make this a three-hour video of just all the different sounds and how they sound. It takes us forever. So I'm just going to go with the top five that loads automatically when you first pull it out of the box. So um, we do have here an A and a B. Um, where you can basically just click through like two different setups. And I just threw my phone on the floor. Um, it's crazy what happens when you knock things off. Anyways, so basically you have an A and a B setting. Uh, you can go through and um, have two different setups. Like this is song A, this is song 2. Or this is like what I use for soloing and stuff, and this is what I use for rhythm. Um, that's probably how I would have it set up once I get it completely set up. I'm still playing with it, trying to figure out what the different sounds are and how they they work for my own setup. Um, so, um, kind of show you what I got going on here. We've got the, the app on my phone here. I would show it to you, but it blows out on camera like crazy because it's basically just white and gray text. No pictures, anything. Just kind of a bunch of lettering. Um, but, so, preset one... There's six presets here. Um, let me pull up the phone over here. So on these, we've got uh, a 412, a uh, green punch one that has a 4x12 GB25s, and it says thick. So it probably gives you a little thicker sound with uh, probably a U67 condenser and a ribbon 121 microphone. Um, those kind of kind of gives you the, the, the cabinet the, and then the two microphones on that cabinet when you look at presets here. I have one set as Voodoo Chili, which is Voodoo Child, probably more H Hendrix. And that one didn't come preloaded. I was actually playing around with it, and that's what's loaded. Um, the rest of these are uh, 2x12 Honkin Silvers 3, which is a 2x12 Ace Top. Um, oh, the Voodoo Child are GB25s also, but they're 412. It's essentially the same thing, just with some effects on it. Um, and then we've got the 4x10 Pristine Clean Room, number 4. Um, I imagine there's three others. Uh, 1x10 Room Tiny Combo 5. And it's, I think, supposed to be like a Fender, like Vibro Champ or something like that, black-faced. Um, and these all have pretty much the same microphone on them. And then, or microphone setup. And then the last one here is called Thick Air. And it's a 2x12 JBF120. Um, and it's actually got a dynamic 57 and a ribbon 121 on it. So we'll kind of go through our settings here. Um, let's hear how uh, number one sounds. So here's number one. And I'm just going to strum some stuff. So that's number one. It's very clean, very probably, you know, kind of vintage 30s type sound. Um, a little warm, but also nice and clean. Not a lot of effects on it. Sounds really good. Could be used with multiple effects. Like we've got an effects unit that we use here. The line six, you'll, you can kind of see it in our lower picture here. But um, we could throw whatever we want. We could throw another overdrive in there and it would just completely overdrive. Now, here's the Voodoo child, Chili. And it's essentially the same thing, but I think it's got a little more effects in it. Because there are effects built into some of these presets. So let's hear let's hear how it sounds. So 
So that's number two. That's the that's the Voodoo Chili, and I'm not quite sure what I would use that for. It's supposed to be kind of Jimi Hendrixy, I guess. That's just based off the name. Um, then the next one here, we've got the Hunk and Silvers number three, and that's a two by twelve Ace Top. So I guess it's supposed to be a little more AC30, like Top Boost. I've had a couple of them. Let's see if it compares. Check those videos out. Um, on our AC-30s that we've done. So I would say that's pretty close to what an AC-30 sounds like. It's definitely louder than the other presets. It's got a little more of that chime to it that an AC-30 would have. And these setup on here the pickup that i chose for this on this telecaster is the bridge and neck so we're getting the whole guitar here for these these sounds here um but i'd say it's very ac30 i would use that for you know maybe more beatles-esque type stuff or something i wanted to be a little more chimey beatles use a lot of ac30s in the beginning you know or even uh, pink floyd use them i think anyways there's a lot of people that have used ac30s so there's a lot of use for them um number four is a four by ten which I've already told you. Um, so number four here with the room sound, it's going to sound a little like this. So it does, has quite a bit more room sound. Sounds like it's in a room somewhere. Um, I don't know, maybe. Maybe I'd use it as my main setup. I don't know, I, I like a little bit of reverb on my amps. Just to make them sound like they're a little more in a space. Such, especially when you're in a studio like this, where it's kind of like, um, kind of controlled, and you're like, well, I don't have a lot of room noise. It's kind of nice to have a little bit of reverb on it. So that could be handy. Or if I have a preset where I'm playing a song that's a little more ethereal, who knows? So we'll go on to the next one, which is number five here, our 110. And this is supposed to be kind of that uh, vibro champ. So we'll have to see if it actually is or not. But here we go. So yeah, that very much uh, vibro champy, very kind of a little bit of vibrato in there, which I think you can adjust in there. There's a couple different effects you can add within the amp, and I didn't go over those. I just wanted to hear how it sounds. Like there's not a lot of videos on like this is how this sounds, you know. Um, so just kind of wanted to hear what it sounded like with my guitar setup. I have a kind of a special humbucker single coil thing going on here, um, and then the last one is the thick air which is the jbf 120s and i imagine jbf is probably something along the lines of like a jazz chorus maybe i don't know i could be wrong i haven't looked at any of the pictures or really dived into what these are actually like but this is what it sounds like <laughs> Now, I know I haven't played a lot of the same stuff, but I've kind of tried to keep the chord progression the same as I've tested each one of these. Um, but this one, for me, feels very musical. It varies, it's kind of warmish. kind of you know, It's very much how I want my amps to sound, how I want them to be warm and kind of... I don't want them to be too thin. I feel like sometimes it's like too thin, especially if I'm doing rhythm. This would probably be a really great rhythm, and then I could switch over to like one of the ace top you know the ac30 type sound something that's a little brighter to kind of get that and that's why i've got down you know the two different things on the floor because the two different switches for the two different setups so this is kind of our live rig when we got like we're gonna go out and play a show this is probably what i would take i'd probably just take my m9 effects pedal from line six 
this guy on the pedal board with my tuner and show up to a gig, plug in, you know, quarter inch, you know, into a direct box. I have direct box. I'd probably bring, you know, have my own direct box. I can just plug directly in with an XLR mic cable and kind of roll. So I highly recommend these. Um, they do sound good. The app is kind of interesting to learn. Um, it's got a bunch of different settings on it. A bunch of different things that do a myriad of things. And I don't even know what they all do because I haven't even dived into every preset and every setting. There's so many of them. I think it said there was 22 that came with it. And each thing has its own different effect and how it reacts. And like I said, it reacts to the guitar. So even if you're like, I'm going to play half volume, you know, I kind of fade up here a little bit and I kind of... It's clean, and then I can go full on. Go full on there, and it gets a little dark, a little thicker, a little maybe breakup happens a little more currently. Um, a little quicker, a little quicker breakup. So, but that's kind of this pedal and how it sounds in a nutshell. There's so many, like I said, there's so many things you can do with it. I don't even know what I'm all going to do with it. Um, but I do love playing with it. I actually play through it more than I probably do my amplifiers one because it sounds just as good as my amplifiers do but I can sit down here and I can play this thing at full volume with bare headphones on you know and not have to worry about naking up waking up naking up waking up the neighbors you know, tongue tied there waking up neighbors or waking up the kids or you know or if I just want to you know jam and I don't want anybody to kind of know what I'm doing because I'm writing maybe a secret song or I don't you know, I'm not confident in what I'm playing, you know, so I don't want to hear people, people to hear it. I can just play with it and it sounds great. Um, we are plugged into our Apollo, so it's going straight quarter inch instrument cable out of here into the hi -Z input on our Apollo. So it's very seamless connection. You can plug it to anything. You can even plug it into an amplifier. If I wanted to take this and plug it into an amp, I'm not sure if I would do that. I don't think I would. I think I would just leave it like this just to have more of the effects. I could plug it in probably and have it go into an amp and just have it bypassed, you know. I don't know if you can bypass it or not, but I'm sure there's probably some button somewhere that, that bypasses it. I think there is. Yes. You just click the button and it turns it off. So if I go like this. You're just hearing... I don't know what you're hearing. I think I'm just hearing the same thing. I don't know. Oh, there's a way to bypass it. And I can't remember exactly how to do it. But there's a way to bypass it so you can play without it. If I were to play with the amps. But um, I enjoy this thing. Highly recommend it. Um, I highly recommend this video to anybody who finds it entertaining or informational. Um, so if you do, hit the like and hit the subscribe buttons. And don't... Uh, don't feel afraid to hit the notification and get the bell you know it'll ding saying hey you got a new we've dropped a new video um we'll be dropping new stuff here shortly and each day is a new day so go make some music and you know what enjoy your time with your family we'll see you next time